Hello, I'm John Ainsley, CTO from Doulos, and I'm going to present this module on OVM basics. So I'll start by just giving a few words of introduction to myself. I've been within, with Doulos for nearly 20 years now, and over that time I've been delivering training in VHDL, Verilog, more recently System Verilog, and OVM. So I'll be leading you through OVM basics over the, next, over the course of the next eight sessions. So the sessions are, are pretty much divided up into two introductory sessions and then six more detailed sessions. And sessions one and two, the introductory sessions, are aimed at engineering managers or engineers and will give a bit of background as to why you should be interested in OVM in the first place and in particular focus on what verification is all about. Then the remaining six sessions will be a little bit more technical in nature and they will lead you step by step through some of the basics of the OVM class library. A good prerequisite for the final six sessions would be some knowledge of VHDL or Verilog. So I guess if you're watching this video, you may well have used VHDL or Verilog in the past anyway, and, and that will set you up, that will be a great start for these remaining six sessions. If you haven't, that's fine, it doesn't particularly matter, I'm sure you'll get something out of it anyway. So in session one, Constrained Random Verification Primer, I'm really going to focus on the distinction between simulation and verification and help persuade you that you should be interested in OVM in the first place. So let's start with a very simple picture of simulation. With simulation, essentially, you build a model of a design under test, throw some stimulus at that design under test,